welcome. If you'd like to know where to go to speak to a psychotherapist online, I invite you to go to my website and learn more about the online therapy service that I offer via Skype. Um, it's very important if you're looking for an online therapist uh, that you use some form of video based uh, communication like Skype or FaceTime or other platform so that you can see each other. If you can see each other then that will increase the quality of communication and then really it's no different than talking to a therapist in person. Um, especially if you're interested in learning practical methods that you can apply yourself for uh, working with your anxiety or depression. Um, so from my uh, point of view as a psychotherapist, my primary interest is in um, what you might describe as self-help or um, giving you tools that help you manage your life better and particularly that help you manage your emotions and thoughts better. Um, I do not advocate treatment-based approaches for anxiety and depression because they do not address the underlying psychological cause of your um, emotional suffering. So we work directly on uh, changing that underlying psychological habit that is generating your anxiety or depression or uh, emotional trauma in the case of PTSD or addiction. Uh, one of the main components of uh, emotions that we work on are the uh, surrounding clusters of uh, habitual reactive thoughts that tend to feed the anxiety or depression or addiction or any other emotional suffering. Uh, so whilst thoughts do not cause anxiety or depression, uh, they do feed any anxiety or depression that's already established. So we have to work with these thoughts very consciously. We have to bring them into consciousness because that is the first ingredient for overcoming any habit. So becoming more conscious of your patterns of reactive thinking is a primary ingredient of mindfulness therapy, which is what I specialize in and have developed over the years for treating anxiety and depression without medications or without years of uh, counseling or talk therapy. Uh, if you take a very practical, systematic, focused approach to work on those patterns of habitual reactive thinking, you will uh, rapidly overcome your anxiety or depression. Uh, there are many different aspects of mindfulness therapy which make this very effective for uh, working with uh, anxiety and depression. Um, and you can learn more on my website. Uh, please go there and read the pages on my website and watch more videos. When you feel ready, please contact me and we can schedule uh, a trial uh, psychotherapy session via Skype uh, so you can see for yourself just how effective this very practical and focused uh, mindfulness-based approach is. If you would like any questions answered, uh, please feel free to email me um, and when you feel ready we can uh, schedule a session. You'll see within the first one or two sessions uh, just how effective this approach is. Um, as always in my approach um, it, I 
um, expect you to see improvements quickly uh, once you start applying the techniques that I teach. This is completely different than the more conventional uh, talk therapy that you may be familiar with. Um, we don't spend so much time talking about our emotions, we spend that time focusing on the structure of the emotions, those patterns of habitual reactive thinking, and how we can change them. Uh, CBT is closely related uh, to mindfulness therapy in many ways, um, but in mindfulness therapy we're not so much interested in whether thoughts are rational or irrational, uh, because it's uh, quite clear from the clients I have worked with, uh, you already know the difference. Whether a thought is irrational is really quite irrelevant. Um, it's the emotional charge that makes that irrational thought so powerful in the mind and so dysfunctional um, that we need to address. So in mindfulness therapy, we focus much more on changing and healing the emotions themselves. When you heal the anxiety associated with an anxiety-producing thought, then that thought will simply um, fall away because it will have nothing to sustain it in the mind. So if you'd like to get started, please contact me and we'll schedule a session at a time that works for you. I see people worldwide. All you need is a good internet connection and Skype, um, and then we can get started. So I look forward to helping you uh, improve the quality of your life, your emotional well-being, through the techniques and teachings of mindfulness therapy. Thank you.